Hello friends, it's Miss Jamie over at the Blue Island Public Library. I'm here with another super fun story time with, uh, for you guys. It's gonna be called The Couch Potato! And it's by Jory John and Pete Oswald. Alright guys, are you ready? Are you comfy for your story? The Couch Potato. I am a potato. Not a small potato like my brother. Not a sweet potato like my mother. Not a mashed potato like my Uncle Stu. I I'm a couch potato. Oh yeah, it's true. My favorite place to slouch is on the couch. I spend all my free time sitting in this exact spot. Ah, ha ha. Why would I ever leave this comfy, cozy couch? It's got everything a potato could need. See, I have this and this and this and one of these and those and this and that and these look at those fuzzy slippers oh and this check it out this button activates a gadget that fetches me snacks whenever I want BAM impressed and I don't have to move an inch much easier than going to the kitchen If the most important thing in life is to be comfortable at all times, then I think I've got it all figured out. Ah, look how comfy he is. But wait, there's more. I haven't revealed the absolute best part of my whole setup. Oh boy, look at that. It's everything you see in front of me. Have a look around. Take it all in. Pretty spectacular, right? Yes, it's a sea of shimmering screens from wall to shining wall. What joy. What bliss. These screens feature my favorite shows. This screen has all my unanswered messages. These screens are where I play video games. And this screen is a live stream of my friend, my best spud for life. This is how my pals and I spend quality time together. It's much easier than trying to meet up somewhere like folks did in the old days, that's for sure. He says, hey, spuddy. Hey, pal Tato. Yes, from this very couch, I can control everything in my life all the time with just a few taps and a couple clicks. Not bad, huh? Ah, that's what he says. Yes, sir, read. This is the life. At least that's what I thought until the other day. Something strange happened. There was a knock on the door, and it was a delivery. Whoosh! It was my newest device, a video camera that would allow me to watch myself react while I was watching all my favorite shows. He says, woohoo! All I had to do was plug it in, and my room, nay, my kingdom, would be complete. But suddenly, pew! Oh boy, what happened? Everything went dark. Look out, coming through. Whoops, ouch. Womp, he fell on the ground because he tripped because it was dark. I made it to the window and pulled back the curtains. Whoa, look at what he's got outside of his window. Look how beautiful that is. The sun seemed brighter than I remember. There was nothing better to do, so I decided to take my dog, Tater, for a walk. Look at his little puppy, excited to go for a walk. Outside. 
It had been a while. Oh, look how happy he is. Look at his face. Everything was so vivid, like a high resolution, 156 inch curved screen, but even more realistic. Something smelled fresh. After a few moments, I realized that it was the air. I heard a noise, some chirps, a ringtone perhaps, but no, I looked up to see some birds. I wandered down the street from block to block and across the neighborhood. Eventually, I found a park with a hill. There was a massive tree on top. It looked like a desktop background, only it was real. He says, neat, look at that. I leaned against the tree. It wasn't as comfortable as my couch, not even close, but after a while, it wasn't so bad. Ah. worries about the power outage and what I might be missing drifted away. I wasn't thinking about my favorite shows or my unanswered messages or anything else, really. I noticed the stillness, the view, look at what he's looking at, the sky, the clouds, the sunset, and those colors, my goodness. It took a while because there was no fast forward option, but Eventually, the sun sank beyond the horizon. By the time I got home, the power was back on. Phew! I sat on the couch. I hit the button to brush my teeth. I pulled the lever to change into my pajamas. I turned on the knob to watch a bedtime story. It says, good night, ooh, sorry. It says, good night, spud. Then I noticed my reflection in one of the screens. I wondered how much of my life had been spent in that very spot. It was then and there that I made the decision to peel myself off the couch a bit more often. Maybe every day, even. And so that's what I've done. I've started hanging out with my friends, my best buddies outside. We've started biking, and hiking, and swimming together, and hiding, and seeking, and sometimes we have snacks and play board games. Sometimes we talk all day. We might watch the clouds. There's no big plan. We just see what happens. Look at them. Look how much fun they're having playing a board game together. It makes me wonder, what if I don't always need to be totally comfortable? What if I'm happier when I have a better balance between my gadgets and the world outside? Because it turns out that I'm more than just a couch potato. I am an amusing potato. I'm a smart potato. I am a kind potato. Look how kind he's being, giving his doggy a bath. I am an entertaining potato, and I am a sit on the hill and watch the sunset potato. Yes, there is a great big world out there, and I want to be a part of it, in person. But don't get me wrong, at the end of a long day, after I've run and played and talked and laughed with my friends, I still think it's awfully nice to slouch on the couch. Ah, he's reading a good book, The Catcher in the Fry. The end. Wow, what a super fun story about burr, 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 the couch potato. When I was reading the book, it reminded me of myself sometimes. Like, sometimes I always think it's the best thing to, like, lay in my bed and relax after, you know, a long week. But sometimes it's important to get up and get moving and do things either outside or with your friends or your family. 
safely, of course. All right, guys, this has been The Couch Potato by Jory John and Pete Oswald. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching another story with me, and you guys have a super fun day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Also, you can rent this. Here, come check it out. Come see me. I'll help you find more books, too. Okay, bye.